Hello and welcome back guys this is Mohammad Arsalan and you're watching my channel Mark Siddiqui in the previous lectures of C language we have learned that what is C language and how to install C language in your computer and in today's lecture we are going to learn what are the data types in C language so this is the lecture 3 and now let's start it the first question we have is what is data type data type is specify that how we insert our data into program or what type of data we are going to insert in it it can be a number it can be a character as well like other languages C language also has a set of predefined data types C language supports two different group of data type the one is primary data type which includes integer floating point and character whereas the second drive second is drive data type it includes array structure union and pointer drive data type means a user drive it from the primary data type like if a user is going to use array so he, array can be an integer or floating as well so it's it's a drive one from the primary data type so now we have integer integer type integers are used to store whole numbers and here you can see six different integers and the one is integer or sign integer sign integer means it is going to hold up some negative values so it's a normal integer its byte size is 2 and its range is starting from minus 32000 something to positive 32000 and then we have unsigned integer the difference between sign and unsign is that sign integer is going to hold up some negative values whereas the unsigned integer is not going to hold up any negative value it's going to start from zero and it's going to holding some positive values then we have short integer it's shorter than the before one the last integer we which we discussed it's short than it one so its byte size is one and its range is also less minus 128 to 127 and then we have unsigned short integer like that to the same way we have a long integer long integer can be used to hold up a very big amount of number and its byte size is 4 and uns unsigned long integer is going to hold up some negative values whereas the unsigned long integer is not going to hold up any negative values the ranges are same between the sign and unsigned but the primary difference is negative and positive values and now we have floating point value floating points are used to store real numbers data type what we have it's float floats byte size is 4 and its range is 3.4 e minus 38 it's it means its digit precision is six digits and the second one we have it's double double byte size is 8 its range is 1.7 e 308 uh, it means its precision is 15 digit and then we have long double long double means uh, its precision digit is 19 so the primary difference between their digits the digit of coming of coming right after the point value and they are 6 15 and 19 and then we have character type character types are used to store character values a character or sign character it's also starting from negative and then we have unsigned character it's going to hold up only positive values and then now we have a white data type white means white type means no value this is usually used to specify the type of function which returns nothing like you are going to add up you are going to perform some function so it's not going to return something to you but if you're using a method like some so it's going to return you something in return so its data type would be integer its data type would be floating but if the function is going to just perform some task but it's not going to return you an answer it means you're going to use the white data type so why data type means this is uh, we will get acquainted to this data type as we start learning more advanced topics in c language like functions and pointers but for now that's uh, thank you very much for me it's uh, enough for today because we have learned the basic data types thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any question if you have any query you can ask me thank you